The coronavirus pandemic is unlike anything this country has seen in 50 years. Pandemics of this magnitude are rare, but they do happen. But why? Here's our why guy. Our history books are filled with masked repetition. Pictures of mass travelers quarantined on a cruise ship are nothing new. Long before COVID-19, there was the Spanish flu that spread to one third of the world's population, killing 50 million. Really um, horrifying accounts of patients. As soon as they got into the hospital, they, they died. Pandemics of that magnitude are rare, but over the past 100 years, there have been two others that have taken more than a million lives worldwide. Let's look at why they happen. Viruses mutate. Most of the time, the changes don't mean much to us. Mutations in viruses occur all the time, and it is um, a little bit of a luck of the draw where that change happens. Sometimes bad luck is involved. The genetic makeup of a virus determines how well it spreads or if it can cause severe illness. The Ebola virus is often deadly but doesn't transmit that easily. Others spread but with mild illness. And then there are those rare times. You have the combination that transmits quickly. The second, it could be a disease that could be quite severe. Uh, there you have a recipe that is what we have with uh, COVID-19. According to the CDC, a flu virus can shift in a way that allows animals to infect humans who would have little or no immunity. Pandemics don't necessarily come decades apart. In 1957, the Asian flu killed 1.1 million people worldwide. It was followed in 1968 by the Hong Kong flu that took almost as many lives and had some of the same genetic makeup as the virus that swept the world 11 years before. And if you have a question for Jerry Carnes, our Y guy, send it to us on Facebook, Twitter, or email.